And uh, welcome to the last, but uh, definitely not least, uh, session of the conference. Yeah, a lot of exciting mathematics to come. Um, and I'm very honored to uh, introduce the first speaker of uh, this session. Um, together with um, uh, Professor Chung and uh, Professor Kung, who's a Kui um, uh, advisor, uh, this, uh, uh, our speaker uh, was a part of the first generation of Vietnamese community of algebraists. Um, they, uh, they did the uh, degree uh, mostly during the war. And, you know, during the war and after that, Vietnam uh, suffered a lot. Uh, uh, there were um, um, not just a war, but the crippling embargo and isolation. Um, there were, and up until uh, the you know, early 90s, there were no meat, electricity, very little electricity. And when you talk to um, the people in the older generation, um, you will learn that uh, there were not even uh, white uh, paper to write math on <laughs> or to tie papers on. So, uh, but they uh, somehow overcome uh, all of that and, and then produce uh, mathematics and, and, and many students and, and, and uh, built a very strong group there. I was not... Uh, I didn't have much chance to interact with them, but uh, having them... Uh, the presence in the field make a big difference. Uh, just to know that some Vietnamese uh, names uh, are mentioned in the papers and books about the, the result uh, really were, were very inspirational for me. Um, so without further ado, uh, Professor Le Tuan Hoa uh, from uh, Institute of Mathematics in Hanoi will tell us about uh, Castel Nouveau Mumford regularity of powers of ideals. So thank you very much, Plow. So, uh uh, for the introduction, so uh, uh, internationally he is uh, called Dao, but in Vietnam we all, everybody call him by Long because Dao. So many people have uh, share the same family name. So I would like to thank uh, the organizer for uh, inviting me here uh, to give a talk and uh, also to ICTP for general support. So. This is uh, my uh, the fourth participation in this series of five uh, workshops. Okay? And now I talk about the <coughs> Castanovo Mumford uh, regularity. And this is a joint, this is a joint work with uh, uh, Nguyen Dang Hub. So when uh, public, he, he uses the family name Nguyen and Ngo Viet Chung. So, but uh, in Vietnam, now we have uh, at least four uh, uh, commutative algebraists with name four. That's why we insist to talk on N.V. Chung. Otherwise, uh, people can uh, miss you the other. Okay. So I talk, uh, this is the title of my talk. And so the content of the, my talk is the following. First, I give a motivation. And then I consider the case of the equi-generated Iden in a graded ring. Uh, here we consider the four functions related to the sustainable Mumford regularity. And the third part, I talk about the polynomial Iden. In this case, in this case, I'm not assume the Iden is equi-generated, so can be generated in a, in different degree. So let's start with this one. Uh, the setting is. Uh, R uh, is a, a standard graded algebra of a few. That means uh, R is a uh, direct sum of uh, Rn, so that uh, the zero is a uh, co component is a uh, few. And then the ring is related by, uh, by the uh, element of, the, of uh, degree one. And the M is a maximum uh, graded ring. Okay. M is a finitely, finitely generated R module. Uh, so, in that case, if E is an Artinian grid ring, which we, we, we denote by E, A, E is the last uh, component where it is uh, uh, not zero, then the Castanovo Mumford regularity can be defined as a maximum of the, on this A invariant of the local cohomology plus I. And equivalently, we can write down that. Equivalently, we can write out that uh, Casanova Mumford regularity. Uh, 
So, customable bomb for the of E, equal to the maximum of T. So, that this is I, that AI R plus E, T minus I is not zero. And if R is equal to the polynomial ring, in this case, Then we can define the Casanova bomb for regularity via uh, uh, minimum for resolution. So we have E here. When we have a copy, <coughs> say B, uh, zero, B, B zero I. B1, I, and so on. BQI. Then, uh, the Casanova photography is equal the maximum of BI, BJI minus J, this one, for all J from zero to Q. So over the polynomial ring, there is a, we have a, a finite uh, minimum of resolution on the end. There is a, uh, another way to, um, <coughs> to define the Casanova Mumford reality. So it is well now that the, why it is uh, important because the Casanova Mumford reality control the complexity of the grid is the structure of M, and it is a, this, this what is a, is a, is a, uh, written in the paper by uh, Bayer and uh, Mumford. So now let I is the grid is uh, ideal, which uh, we are suppose that it is not important, important, and I only uh, assume that I is generated by. Uh, degree D1, degree D1, D2, etc. dP. And dP is a, is a maximum uh, degree. We denote by dm, d max of i. Okay? Uh, with this one, we know that usually the Casanova Mumford regularity is a bound, uh, uh, give a, a, a upper bound for the maximum degree. But usually, it is a huge one. In one, one talk earlier in this conference, uh, it only dimension by, by talk by Caviglia, only mentioned that in the worst case, the, the, the bound is a double exponential uh, to compare with the number of the variable. But when we take a large power, we take a sufficiently large power, there is a very nice work by Kutkowski, Hesok Chung, at the same time, also by Kodia Lam. They say that when n, n is big enough, the custom of reality is just a linear function. Not only bound by a linear function, but it is really a linear function for n big enough. Uh, I should uh, say, uh, and then this region uh, extended to any module, and then the cohomology, uh, the, the custom of reality should define via cohomology. Because in this case, we don't have a minimum free resolution. Okay, but the, the, the work, the resonance team hold. So I write here this uh, resonance so that we, you can uh, or uh, n, which enough. And that we call the asymptotic degree. And what is interesting that D is one of this, one of this degree. And of course, only at most max. And when I is generated, is equigenated. 
in degree delta. Then, of course, because of this, we see that D is exactly delta. So this, uh, the, the D in some sense is easy to compute. So there is a nice story about uh, uh, this uh, region in this, uh, uh, but uh, I have no time to, 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 to record this story here, okay? So, as I said, D is uh, called the associated degree, and that is uh, one can define in some sense uh, uh, explicitly. That is uh, a kind of uh, a degree of the reduction number, a re re reduction ID, okay? So, and that D is uh, one of the, the, the but the free, the, the, the free coefficient, the, inter, the intercept E remains mysterious. And there is a problem which, uh, the, when does this regularity become a linear function or equivalently give uh, an upper, upper bound of the index of uh, stability? We you know by right step, this is uh, the minimum uh, place from the which uh, it become a linear function. So we call it the index of stability of the Casanova morphology. And the problem is when does it uh, become uh, a linear function? So this is a very hard problem. And until now, very few reasons on this one. Even in the case when I, I is the M primary idea. So to my knowledge, we have uh, three uh, work on this case by Billy Kamp, by David Eisenberg and Ulrich, and by Mark Chadang. And in this case, even they cannot give, uh, they give some bound for the uh, right step, but they cannot, there is no explicit uh, bound, except this case. Except the case that I is a monomial ID, I'm a primary monomial ID, and an uh, asymptotic degree D, then the number, and we didn't know by the number of the generator of this type, so it is a mark, S is a less than or equal to R. And then we have this small bound, quite a good bound, okay? And at first I thought that, at first I thought that for the monomial case, we should have a linear bound or, or, or a polynomial bound, but in fact not the case. That is quite un, uh, surprising for me. Namely, in the higher dimensional case, if you consider the integral close, we also have a similar from the, the paper by, by Kutkovsky, Herzog Chung, and by Kodi Alam. Because, uh, of course, we assume that uh, the filtration, the rich corresponding filtration is a material. For example, we consider the case of the integral close uh, or in uh, the I is a uh, polynomial idea. Okay, when I is a the, 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 the polynomial ring. Then we have a similar one. And in this case, uh, very recently, I could give an upper bound, it's a huge bound, but still, it's a big bound, okay? But in view of the Kavikla, uh, so it is still acceptable bound, <laughs> okay, not an expert. Yeah. Uh, so in this case, we can give uh, for the, for the integral clause, uh, we can give this bound, but for the usual bound, still no bound. I try hard, but still no bound. But, so, there's still no bound. Uh, for the integral closure, I'm not sure whether the bound is uh, optimal, but I think that not optimal at all, very far from optimal. But for the, for the monomial case, I can give a uh, uh, class, example of monomial case, where stability at least this so must be exponential function. Quite a big one, okay? And that is a, this is a consequence of my study on the maximum generating degree of power of polynomial ID. So, the question is, uh, why it is so difficult to study or to bow E and the uh, and, uh, index of stability? And a way to, to answer this question, in our opinion, that we should study this problem study the behavior, initial behavior of the whole function. 
if this function uh, quite uh, behave quite uh, uh, freely, then the mouth must be very big one because it cannot control. That is the re one of the reason. So, and because we have this function, the first part is so. It is uh, this problem is equivalent to study the behavior of the different because the first uh, this is uh, some, in some sense when well now. So we should study EN, and we call that the defect sequence of the, uh, of the function. And I th we think that the name defect sequence was uh, first uh, even uh, introduced in the paper by Billy Chong. So, uh, note that David, uh, 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 oh, sorry. So in the paper by David Eisenberg and Harris, uh, there are some uh, reason, uh, partial reason on, on this case. So assume that M is a relative degree zero. Uh, and uh, when the dimension of M is big, but uh, the idea is uh, M primary. And assume that I is equigenated. Then this, see, uh, this sequence is a weakly decreasing of uh, non-negative integer. So I write here to rem remember, so regularity of I n m equal to d n plus e n. So that is the, the sequence. And uh, in the paper by David, uh, by Eisenberg and Ulrich, uh, under this assumption, and uh, assume that the zero local cohomology of M is zero. Then we have a further constraint. So En minus En uh, minus one cannot be uh, bigger than D. D is a uh, uh, degree of the uh, uh, gener generating degree because in this case we consider the equigenerative. If the dimension is uh, bigger than zero and I is equigenerated, then this sequence need not to be weakly decreasing. And in fact, uh, Stumpfen gave the first uh, counter example. And in, in, in this, he also, the counter example also raised from the other author, but uh, 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 resumed in this paper. And then Konka gave him also very interesting and now, until now, in my opinion, is a unique example when uh, this sequence can be zero very long. And then at other place, and, uh, and suddenly at the place uh, E and uh, plus one uh, can be uh, bigger than zero. So it's uh, quite uh, interesting. And you will see later that uh, this is really very, 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 uh, uh, we, we need to have uh, the, the, the higher dimension in this case. So, if not, I is not equigenerated, and even the, the module is a polynomial ring, uh, comes shows that the sequence can be initially increasing and later decreasing, so the, this sequence is, an, neither, uh, is a never mono, monotone. If not equigenerated, even when the case, uh, uh, the idea is, uh, is, is uh, M uh, primary, okay? So the amount the uh, partial reason suggests that the sequence E and uh, could be arbitrary. And our main reason, our main reason in this talk confirms this yet. We didn't say that it is, uh, the sequence could be arbitrary, but we can, can prove that for the case of the greedy ring, not for the any polynomial ring, and we will see that. Okay, for the simplicity, we only consider the case of ring, the module M is ring, and the greedy idea, which is not uh, important, and we will study three uh, functions, the function of the quotient, the function of the module, and this function. Why we study this one? Because uh, uh, already in the paper by uh, Eisenberg Harris and Eisenberg Ulrich, uh, they study this function via, uh, via this uh, uh, 
this, uh, this function is studied by uh, this function. And we follow this way, and we will see that some region we got is follow from this, the study of the regularity of I n uh, minus 1 over uh, modulo I n. So now uh, I recall uh, we consider the case of equation acid iodine in a graded ring. And in this case, uh, uh, I am sure uh, uh, I is a standard graded ring. Okay? And uh, from this uh, short as that sequence, this short as that sequence, one can easily show, very quickly show that this regularity equal to this regularity and equal to dn uh, plus e minus 1 for n uh, big enough. That means they share the same, this one. They share, so they almost defined by in, by the regularity of in. So I write here that. Uh, So, regularity of I n minus 1, I n minus 1, I n, equal to D n plus A n minus 1. And regularity of A over I n equal to D n plus uh, uh, B n, C n. Minus one, and this proposition says that E n equal to uh, A n equal to C n equal to E n for n big enough. So. I said C and uh, this one. This definition is equivalent where I, I wrote here. And uh, I, I said that also this is equal to E uh, for N large enough. But they are different for small N. At the beginning, they, uh, they can be very different. And uh, in the paper by, uh, by, 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 by Kutkowski, Hesok Chung, and um, Kodelam, we can see that E N is a uh, but it is not clear which an and cn. We can prove that under the assumption i, I is generated by the same degree, then an always non-negative. And cn is also negative, non-negative, if the height is positive. We, are, we think that it is always the same, uh, always the case that cn is non-negative, at least it is under this assumption. Until now, we could not prove this one, okay? But that is not so very important uh, in the study of the behaviors, uh, initial behaviors. So now we start with uh, the case, uh, we function this function. And the case R, uh, the dimension is zero, that means the I is uh, uh, M primary, primary ideal. Then there is a constraint on this case. We only know that by previous region by uh, Eisenberg, uh, Ulrich, and uh, uh, Eisenberg, Hulke, that uh, it, it, it is not, uh, uh, this is, uh, uh, follow this one, we can also adapt this one, we can also prove that this from the defect sequence of this function also quickly decreasing. Okay, and uh, <coughs> It turns out that this is, uh, uh, this, is uh, uh, this is necessary condition, but it is also the sufficient condition. So we can prove that a sequence of non-negative integer is a defect sequence of this function for an equigenated i in i in a standard degree uh, algebra, which is uh, this one. If only, only uh, if and only if it is a weakly decreasing sequence. And in order to prove this theorem, we give an explicit constructor. We give a explicit, we give even a, the, a, a class of monomial ideal, which satisfies this. So that is a, the, 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 the construction. You see that the ring S, uh, the ring R, is just a quotient more ring 
modern load are modern main idea. And the idea is uh, very easy. It's this one. Okay, it's um, all uh, monomian here. Uh, in time, that, uh, because they are monomian ideas, we can compute. <laughs> Otherwise, it's uh, not so easy. Otherwise, it's not so easy. Oh, sorry. Oh. For the case, uh, dimension is uh, positive. We can prove that similar one, but that here is only the sufficient uh, 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 condition. So the defect region or uh, defect sequence of this function uh, can be any conversion sequence. So there is no weekly, nothing. Only conversion sequence of non negative integer with a property. But this property is uh, not necessary. I can uh, uh, for, formulate this in an equivalent form. So th that means that this function. Uh, is any numerical asymptotic linear function of slope d so that fd is uh, bigger or equal to dn minus 1. And as I said, it is only a sufficient condition because uh, the condition that, uh, that this is, uh, the condition that is, uh, uh, this is uh, not so. We can have uh, this uh, example, interesting example. Uh, given by Nguyen Dang Hợp and Vu Quang Thanh. They give an uh, example that uh, rec E is M plus 3, but rec uh, E uh, to N is a 6 N, and that is a very, very big one. Okay. Oh, sorry. That is a. Uh, sorry. So. So. Now we consider this uh, function, the regularity of R modulo I to N. And again, in the case R, uh, the dimension is zero, that means uh, M primary alien, uh, Eisenberg and Harris show that this defect sequence is weakly decreasing. And in this case, eventually under the sum set that it is related by the same degree, we have further constraint. Namely, this defect sequence not only weakly de decreasing, but not too much. So, i n minus i n plus one must be bounded by the degree d, is uh, the the generating degree. And quite interesting yet, we can show that this, together with the weakly decreasing, is a uh, uh, sufficient. Uh, this is necessary, but it is also sufficient uh, consequence. Namely, the sequence of non-negative integer is a defect sequence of the ideal related by form of degree d in a standard graded algebra with dimension zero. If and even if this sequence is weakly decreasing and uh, the difference is at most d. So for the case of the dimension, uh, positive dimension, we have a uh, sufficient condition. Sufficient one. So that if the sequence is non negative, satisfies this property, then the defect sequence, the defect, uh, it, it can be realized as a defect sequence. Okay? And we can reformulate this in the, uh, in the form of the uh, function of Cassino uh, Formum uh, Fort regulate. So it is uh, the, this function could be any numerical and uh, asymptotic linear function of D, so that this satisfies. And, okay. So, I mentioned earlier that Tang and, uh, uh, and uh, Hub, they can uh, give, uh, so that, that means uh, uh, the condition before is not necessary. And again, the proof of this is uh, explicit construction, which is similar to previous uh, one, but of course it's a modification. Namely, we have this uh, a, a little bit more complicated. And then the formula also more complicated. And as a partial case, then we can uh, get, so on a monomial uh, idea, so that we can compute the, 
yeah, 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 yeah. computation of the local commonly reduced to the computation of the quotient uh, of certain monomial ID. Okay. Oh, sorry. So now we consider the third one, the main function, the derivative of the power of ID. And again, in the case of R mod I, so the, uh, the, the zero dimension, so the defect sequence is the only proof that it is weakly decreasing. And uh, we can use uh, the, the previous uh, uh, ID to compute the, uh, the recastanova morphology for this. I, as I said, that uh, in each case, we should compute uh, uh, separately. We cannot reduce it from the corresponding region of the quotient ring or IN minus one or modulo IN. So that is the, 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 the main obstacle in, in why we should study the three functions uh, separately and compute separately. And then uh, we can prove this, the defect sequence of this function can be any weakly decreasing sequence of non-negative integer with this property, where m is a least integer, so that's this. And again, like in the case of the, of the, of the, the, the quotient uh, ring, this uh, condition is not necessary. It is not necessary. And this condition is uh, opposite to the property in the previous uh, region. So, and uh, uh, if this local cohomology is zero, then this pro EN uh, have exactly the opposite property. But in our construction, we have this is non-zero, of course. Otherwise, it could be uh, true. Could not be true. So, there is a question in the paper by, uh, oh, sorry, by David Eisenberg and uh, Ulrich. They ask whether this sequence always weakly decreasing. And using our, using our uh, region here, this here, this proposition, and also is this theorem, we can give uh, explicit, oh, sorry. We can give a uh, explicit uh, sequence of EN so that this is uh, uh, D plus N, so it's uh, much bigger than, uh, it's never weakly de decreasing. So that is give a uh, uh, counter example to the question by Eisenberg and uh, Ulrich. So that is about the Casanova morphology, and then uh, with there is a, a recent paper, uh, recent study on the, on the saturation degree. So, recall that the saturation, uh, uh, saturation is, is this definition defined by, by this one, okay? So, we we'll write here. Saturation of iron is uh, exactly And then the degree, the certain degree uh, is defined by, by the last uh, place where it is uh, not uh, zero. And it is uh, the last component uh, of the zero local cohomology of this guy. And recent, very recently, I, uh, uh, Taiha, uh, Lazafen, they proved that if C R is a polynomial ring of uh, the complex uh, few, few, few of complex number, and I is uh, ideal generated by this for, by form, which here is a reverse one uh, order. So that the proof scheme cut out by this is a non-regular. Then the saturation degree is bounded by a linear function. Extending the method in uh, 
In the paper by Chung and Wang about the Casanova morphology, we can prove that this saturation degree is in fact, uh, you see, in this case, it is a, a, a constant. And if this is not zero, it is asymptotically a linear function with a slope delta, and delta is at most uh, the asymptotic degree. And, the, and it is a, the, uh, really the accessibility degree if this idea is related by formal degree D. That means there is no, uh, there is no uh, lower uh, um, uh, generating uh, monomial, uh, polynomial of the smaller degree. So, uh, Again, uh, uh, they, uh, in this paper, they, uh, they ask whether the, the, uh, uh, the bound is uh, or the optimum one, and use our result, we can show that, uh, uh, we can show that uh, there is an example that uh, the bound for n is big enough, the bound is far from optimum. And then we can prove that this is uh, uh, really, uh, uh, as I said, uh, when this is bigger than zero, uh, not zero, then this is uh, asymptotic, uh, uh, is a linear function for n big enough. And we want to study the initial be behavior of this one. Okay? So, similarly, we can write out that. Uh, the saturation degree of I n is equal to delta n plus B n. And in this case, when I is related by the same form, the form, the, the form degree, it is equal to D, D when I is uh, equally is generated by LM of degree D. And we want to also want to, to, to study the, 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 the initial behavior of this sequence. Then uh, we can prove that the defects We can show that the defect sequence of this function can be any conversion uh, sequence of non-negative integer with this property. And again, we uh, use a construction in your previous proposition. So note that, uh, no. Note that if, uh, so this is a sufficient uh, condition and uh, we can, uh, uh, there is example that this integer could be negative. So it is really uh, only a sufficient uh, condition. Okay, now we go to the third part, the polynomial idea. So in the second part, we can get quite, uh, in some sense, a final reason about the, the defect sequence. Because all difficult complexity is, is included in the ring. In the ring A mod A mod uh, A. So the ring A is a not polynomial ring. And we take a, a, a suitable idea, a quotient ring of the polynomial ring. And then we can get, we can construct such a short kind of monomial idea. But when A is equal to S, the polynomial ring, we don't have this. Uh, freedom, and uh, the problem become more difficult. Okay, so now the set thing is this one. So the ring is a polynomial ring, and I is homogeneous ideal, which can be generated in different degrees. So here we may we should uh, go away from the assumption of equilibrium. If equilibrium is uh, too much constraint, and then we cannot control. We cannot. Okay. In this case, uh, in this case, 
the regulative I to N is equal to this one. So we need only to study the, uh, the function, the uh, custom universality of the power. In small dimension, even generated by uh, different degree, we still have a sub uh, restriction. So cannot be free in this case. Namely, when the dimension is most one, then we have this prop uh, property, En plus M, is bounded by the, the sum of the previous two. In particular, if this is zero for some N, then this should be zero for on N. For on N. So that it is very clear that it cannot be arbitrary. In the case of the dimension is a zero, so M primary, we have even a, 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 a more strict, a more constraint. We have this one. So if this is, is zero for some one, or for some N zero, then from that on must be a zero. In this case, for N a big enough, but in this case, we only know that from start from zero, on should be zero. So it's more constraint. So that is a not clear that not any bounded non-decreasing function can be realized as a defect situation. However, we can prove that any non-increasing function could be realized as a defect sequence of M primary monomial ID. And the construction in this case are more, much more complicated than in the, in the previous uh, part. Namely, the first, we construct a monomial ID that is equal uh, uh, to dn. That means the, the, the defect sequence, uh, the defect uh, uh, is, is zero for on and a big enough. But at the beginning, the defect could be quite big. Could be quite big. So the second step, we truncated, truncated this idea by a power of M. And there is a reason in the paper by Eisenberg and Ulrich say that, uh, so we know that the, uh, when N is big enough, it is zero. But the first one is a big one, but now it truncated by this one, then it can become constant, stable. So that means, uh, the fixed sequence have a, a, has an elementary type. We call it the type two. So here is the type two. So the defect sequence is this at the beginning, stable, and then becomes zero. Okay. After step two, we have this one. The defect sequence is uh, constant, and then becomes zero. And the third step, we consider the so-called fiber product. Of ID. So the fiber product of ID is, uh, is a set of the two uh, uh, ring of the disjoint uh, set of variables. And that is this one will take all product of the two the variables into, into uh, uh, setting. And for this one, we can prove a technical lemma. We can show that this defect sequence, if we consider this fiber product, then the defect sequence is the maximum of the two. The maximum of two. And thanks to this one, we can uh, prove the, we can prove the, 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 the theorem by induction. So when the, the number of the value is only one, it's only elementary. And then for the bigger then, then we extend this, so from this to this, we only have a by induction. And now we consider this idea with this one. Then use that lemma before. Then in this part, it should be this. And then become zero, then the maximum is zero. So we can prove the theorem by, 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 by combining this uh, uh, idea of elementary type. How about the higher dimension? For the higher dimension, it is still not clear, but we can show that uh, for any sequence of positive number, 
Then there is a monomena idea. So that's the effect sequence of the carcinoma molecular regularity. We consider as a numerical function. Get local maxima exactly at this point. So any, we cannot prove that the, uh, the, the defect sequence is uh, arbitrary, but we can show that it is, uh, is behavior quite, uh, 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 yeah, it's a, uh, cannot control, can get maximum and at any, any point where I pre-described point. And the idea of the proof is uh, we use, uh, uh, we, uh, we first construct, we use uh, the construction in the Belecam where we have uh, the, 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 we have uh, the defect sequence is increasing and we call this is a uh, type one. So this is a uh, type of, type one. Oh, sorry. Type. So this is type one. So this decreasing and then become stable. Call this type one. And that is uh, can follow from, uh, can, uh, is uh, given in, in the paper by Belek. And then combining this with uh, 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 reason be, uh, a technical reason, uh, lemma before, that we consider the product of the two ideas in different uh, ring. Then the defect sequence, the defect is a sum, not the maximum, but the sum. It was given uh, some, some year ago in my joint paper with the uh, thumb. Okay? And using this, we can prove the theorem. So, you see, we by the first uh, by the first theorem, we have uh, any decreasing uh, function. We have uh, we can realize as a function. And then we have this this one. And now we use uh, the, 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 the lemma. We can uh, we can sum. We can have a sum of these two functions. We do just this this exact function. Okay. So from this, we go to we we can uh, we have con, uh, con, go to this conjecture. Any convergent sequence of non-negative integer can be realized as a defect sequence of the function of uh, Casanova morphology in the polynomial case. And we are working uh, on this conjecture right now, and we hope that we can solve this very soon. So that is the end of my uh, talk. Thank you very much for your attention. Are there any questions for Hua? Anything you can say about the SOC or degree? No. <laughs> we don't. We we, we don't. Think, we didn't think about that, but maybe could be. Um, thing, yeah. All right. If there's any, there's no other question. Let's thank the speaker again.